All right, welcome back to another episode of uh, the Weekly Insider. We're going into week five of the NFL season. Uh, like last week, I said we're going to go over our scores. We're not going to go too in depth about it. Um, I went nine and fifteen out of my pick, so I got nine correct, and obviously out of fifteen games. Uh, how many did you have? I got seven. But <laughs> all right, one of the ones I got wrong was the Eagles, so I was glad about that one. Yeah, right? got a dub. But um, so he went seven out of fifteen. I went uh, nine out of fifteen. Looks like I took uh, week four. If we're just going between us two. Um, but let's just hop right into it. Week five. All right. We got Thursday night game coming up. We got uh, Tampa Bay at Chicago. Mm -hmm. All right. I think uh, t the Bears just lost. I thought they were going to win last week. Nick Foles didn't perform at all how I thought he was going to. Um, Tampa Bay still looks pretty decent. I think their offense has kind of got that rhythm going. They have some bad injuries, though, like Godwin's mm -hmm. out. Fournette, um, McCoy, Fournette and McCoy. Um, yeah, their offense is looking a little hurt, but I still think they're going to do well. However, I do think Chicago is going to bounce back, and I'm going to take Chicago in this one. I'm going to take the Bucks. I think the Bucks have surprise have a uh, one of the more under-respected defenses in the league. They've got a lot of solid places on de players on defense, so I don't think the injuries on offense will hurt them too much. Because I also like, I don't think Foles is that good. <laughs> He's a good backup. That's all he is. Mm. Um, might be. I, I think I even think Trubisky might be a little better, but either way. Um, they go hand I'm going to take the Bucks in that one. All right. All right. First Sunday night game, you have Carolina at Atlanta Falcons. Um, I think I'm going to have to give it to Atlanta. I think their offense is going to step up a little bit this week. They're going to perform well, a lot better than they did against Green Bay. And against Carolina, who I think they've been, like, good, but then they haven't. They were just inconsistent. They've been throughout the whole season. Um but I think the Atlanta Falcons are going to squeeze out with the W in this one. Um, yeah, this one's tough. Like you said, Carolina. I mean, Carolina's won two in a row now. Um, I don't think they have any major injuries. The Falcons, are, I think, are without their top three safeties well, right other now. Other than McCaffrey. Well, there's, yeah, I forgot about that because he was injured like week one or two. So they're 2 0 without McCaffrey. Maybe he's the problem in Carolina. Maybe. Maybe they um, don't even need him. I think, man, I think I'm going to go with Carolina. Purely from a coaching standpoint, just because Dan Quinn sucks. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick against the Falcons until Dan Quinn's fired. However, I would love to see the Atlanta throw another lead. I think that would be really funny. Honestly, if I'm a Falcons fan, I want them to lose so Quinn gets out of there as fast as possible. Yeah. Because every year, they start out horrible. He, they go 8-8, eight and, eight and they're like, oh, we'll keep him around for another year. <laughs> That's been like three straight years. Nah, he's got to go. Since the Super Bowl. There's a lot of coaches that need to go in the NFL, honestly. Um, next, we got Cincinnati at the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, I think Cincinnati's coming off a hot win. It's hard to go against Baltimore, but I am going to go against Baltimore. I think Joe Burrow's going to take a take a win against Baltimore in their own stadium. Uh, that's just me. Yeah, I think uh, the Ravens are going to win that one pretty handily. I'll surprise you. Really? That. You think yeah. the Ravens are going to um, You think handily? Handily. They're 13 nah, point favorites. Know. Yeah, thir yeah, but the favorites don't mean I know it doesn't mean anything, but. Um, I mean, the Ravens have been really good against quarterbacks. The only quarterback that's been good against them was Mahomes. Mahomes, but it's Mahomes. I mean, Mahomes is going to do good against any yeah, defense. Burrow's, so. I like Burrow, but he's not Mahomes. So, I mean, I think the no, Ravens yeah. win this one pretty easily. But I don't think they can stop the run. Bengals no. can't stop the run. They now have they a lot of backs, too. Yeah. But so, yeah, I think Ravens win that one pretty handily. Are we, we're, uh, we're different on all three so far, I think. Yeah, are we? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Damn. I'm just going to choose out. <laughs> all right, it's pre-recorded. No. Yeah, I'm hedging my bets. All right, next game we got Jacksonville at Houston. I honestly think Houston's dropping 0 and 5. I'm going with the Jacksonville. They're coming off a hot week too. Uh, Jacksonville won last week, correct? They lost to the Bengals, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's right, that's right. No, they did lose to the Bengals. I'm saying they're coming off a hot week as far as their offense. Their offense did look good. They obviously just couldn't pull out the win. Um, I think Minshew and uh, Chark have been getting their chemistry going a little bit better. Yeah. So I think those two are going to pop off and they're going to beat the Houston Texans. Um, see, yeah, I don't know what to think. Texans just lost their head coach, who I thought was a decent coach, but a bad GM. Um, bad play caller. I don't think he was. Yeah, he's he's a dude, good good coach, but yeah, they gave they made they made him Belichick, and he's not Belichick. Mm -mm. Um, I'm gonna roll with the Texans on this one. So agree, disagreeing again. But I'm gonna roll with the Texans just because I think Deshaun Watson's gonna pull some kind of magic and finally win a game for them. I think this will be a high scoring game. 
I think I really think they're both going to get in the least twenties. Yeah, both defenses are pretty bad, and the offense or the offenses are better than the defenses for sure. Teams. Yep. So, yeah, I mean, this is either going to be a a shootout or it's going to be like a twenty one to twenty because both teams just have a ton of yeah. turnovers. Yep, absolutely. Next game we got Las Vegas versus Kansas City. We're just going to skip right to the next game. <laughs> Kansas <laughs> City. I'm picking against Kansas City. Kansas City is literally never going to lose. I think they're going to win back-to-back Super Bowls. So, all right, next game. I mean, they've won, what, like eight in a row playoffs, at least the playoffs yeah. in the first four games this yeah, year. But so. they, and they do it They no. do it convincingly. Yeah. It's not just they win. They do it they haven't had a test dominantly. Game. They played Wait until they play the Bills, play. though. That'll be a good game. Still picking the Chiefs unless they lose this Probably. week. Probably. <laughs> all right. Next game we got Arizona at the Jets. Um, the Jets pulled something out. I don't know how they performed well against Denver. They lost, but they performed well against Denver. No Sam Darnold. Oh, he is out. Yeah, Joe Flacco starting. All right, that makes my that makes my pick even more Cardinals convincing. Cardinals, I'm going with the Cardinals <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's gonna be the Cardinals. <laughs> so, so I mean, I mean, they do have a Super Bowl quarterback coming in, but I just don't think Kyler Murray's gonna. I think Kyler Murray has to bounce back from yeah, that loss. Yeah, the Bears had a Super Bowl quarterback coming in too. It doesn't mean much. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But Kyler Murray was uh, is coming off a hot loss right now, so yeah, I didn't they see need to much from him last game. they need to come back and bounce back. Uh, but you're going with Cardinals. Yes. Okay. Uh, next game we got Philly at Pittsburgh. Um, personally, I think coming off a very um, optimistic week, I think the Philadelphia is going to upset the Steelers this oh. week. Yeah. I don't. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. Nah, I definitely. I, I don't know. I think uh, Pittsburgh's defense is good, but they have the main reason I am taking Philly as well is they had that unexpected bye week. That like the Steelers, Steelers? had the unexpected bye week. Yeah, I don't think they had so, any injuries. Oh, they had Deontay Johnson was out, but he's back now. He well, I don't. I'm not even worried about. And they're just. It's 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 tough as an NFL team taking that week off when it's not really like like mentally. They're like, yeah, they were ready to play, and now they have to switch all their game plan. Like, they were planning, all their whole week was planning against the Titans, and now... But the game got canceled on what? Thursday or Friday? No, yeah. So they had an extra few days to prepare for this game now. Yeah, but I still don't think... I think it's going to be... It's going to kind of throw off their... Like, any mojo they had going on in offense. I think it's just going to... Like, that extra break when it's not, like... When you're not really ready for it, it's just... I think it throws off a little bit, but... I mean... 5v5, the Steelers are going to have TJ Watt, Bud Dupree, Cam Hayward, Stefan Tuitt, and Tyson Alualu going up against. Let's see, who's fucking starting for the Eagles now? <laughs> Jordan Mulata, I think, is left tackle. Uh, Nate Herbig. Jason Kelsey is good, obviously. That guy's beast. Yeah, sure. Uh, I, think it's, I think the right guard might be Sua Opeta or something like that. I don't even know how to pronounce those guys' names. And then Lane Johnson, who's hurt, and if he's out, then Jack Driscoll. But I think the Steelers are going to get about hey, 10 sacks. Hey, listen, if you're going just off paper... Yes, yeah, Steelers are a better team. But if we're going off paper too, look at the Dallas Cowboys, and those dudes suck. I'm just saying, you win games in the trenches. Steelers are going to dominate the Eagles. I don't line. think so. I think it's going to be a close game. I'm going with the Steelers, but if I was to have like a, if this was a gambling thing, my pick of the day would be Steelers over on sacks. I don't care what it is. Steelers are going <laughs> to get ten sacks this game. They gave Eagles gave up eight with a healthier O line to the Redskins. Yeah, the Steelers D line is a little a little bit better because the Redskins do have a good D line. With, now everyone's hurt. They're, they're gonna <laughs> Carson Wentz would be broken after this game. No, nah. Phil, Philly's that. pulling it out of the pulling the trick out their sleeve. Yeah, Jalen Hurts could have been really. Next game we got my team Buffalo against Tennessee. This game might not even happen. Uh, there's it's speculation that it could be forfeited. Yeah. Um, I mean, games. if it does get played, I'm still gonna go with Buffalo. Yeah. I think Buffalo's on. They're just on fire right now. Yeah. Their coaching staff has been doing everything right. Josh Allen's playing MVP football. All the wide receivers are healthy. Well, John Brown has been out like in and out last few weeks, but yeah, other than that, they're all they're all performing well. So yeah. I'm taking Buffalo yeah, if I mean, it's played. <laughs> yeah, if it's played, I go Buffalo too. I mean, yeah, I think McDermott. I've said this since his first year. I think he's a pro. Well, at first I saw like top ten or so. I think he's probably yeah. top five coach in the league. He's doing amazing. He's a really right good now. coach. Um, and he really knows how to collect, or you know, really knows how to get the team together too. Well, one like, thing I saw about the Bills heading into the season that was interesting was because uh, a lot of teams were worried about like how new players and rookies and stuff would gel together without the preseason and like the shortened training camp. Yeah, the Bills, I'm pretty sure, had the highest returning percentage of players or snaps from last year, like 88. percent Really? I'm pretty sure it was 88, percent but whatever it was, they had the highest like returning percentage of snaps from last year. Hmm. So I'm not surprised that like they're not skipping a beat anywhere because like 
most of these teams have these new guys as rookies, and they yeah. need that preseason. It's hard to transition them in the. That's one of the things with the Eagles. Was Wentz didn't have any time to work with these rookies that they're using at wide practice squad guys. Travis Fulgham, I don't even know who that is, and he had a touchdown last week. Like he never had any time to work with these guys. But Josh Allen, I mean, I guess aside from Diggs, but Stephon Diggs, Diggs is going to adapt gonna, no matter what. Yeah, I don't think it's hard to work with him. But um, yeah, I think the Bills are another team. Oh, I was about to say I'd pick until they lose, but they play the Chiefs next week, so. It's gonna be a good I'll game. I'm week. excited for that game. Holy yeah, I'd shit. go with the Bills if they play, but I highly doubt it. Yeah, I don't think the Bills are gonna play this week, so it's just five and zero, oh, baby. <laughs> Run it up, baby. Josh Downs MVP stand, well, case will get hurt though, probably. Yeah, probably. How do they do stats for that? They can't. Yeah. But I mean, it also shouldn't hurt. It shouldn't hurt him. No, if there's any chance of like records or stuff like no, that. No, yeah. Uh, next game we got uh, the L.A. Rams at Washington. Um, I think. Despite the Rams playing horrendous against the Giants, a team that is honestly considered maybe like 30, 31st, 32nd in the league right now, Sorry, they did terrible. Mm-hmm. But I'm still think they're gonna squeeze. They're gonna squeeze it, squeeze it out uh, past the Washington football team. Oh, and I accidentally said Washington Redskins last. Did. I didn't even notice until I was like editing Washington. the video. Yeah. So Washington football team. Yeah. <laughs> they're not gonna win. I'm going with. The Rams. Are the Rams three and one? Yeah. Um, surprising. I'm actually gonna go with the Red with the football team. I'm ah, <laughs> I want to go with Washington on this one Hell because yeah. they're playing Kyle Allen over Haskins, who I think then gives who I think gives them a higher floor at least because he's a much he's a much smarter quarterback I think than mm-hmm. Haskins. Um, and like you said, the Rams didn't look great last week. I think they get Cam Akers back. I don't know how much of a difference that'll make for them, mm-hmm. but I don't know. I just feel like Redskins. I was about to say they're at home, but that doesn't really matter. Home and away this year doesn't really matter too much. Not but, necessarily. Um, it still kind of does a little travel bit. Travel is the main thing. Yeah. But, um, oh, travel. West Coast teams come to the East Coast usually struggle. So, Redskins it is. Washington it is. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Twice. I said it for 23 years. <laughs> I know, right? For as long as I've been alive. All right. Next game, got Miami at San Francisco. I'm actually, I don't actually know what the line is. I but just, I don't think there is a line. So I am gonna line, go with. There? I'm going Miami. I don't know why there isn't a line. I don't think there's any COVID stuff for those two. No, but hmm. regardless, I'm going with Miami. I think Fitzpatrick's gonna pull out some magic, and they're gonna they're gonna beat the 49ers. Um. Yeah, I wish I could see the line. I think I'm gonna go with the 49ers. They are home. Just because so. Beathard or Beathard looked pretty good in the last couple drives of last week. Yeah, and Eagles. Kittle. <laughs> he still won though. I bro. Um. But Beathard looked pretty good, so I think they're kind of uh, coming along to something there. Um, at least as a backup to Garoppolo once he comes back. I think mm-hmm. they're starting to get a little healthier. Debo Samuel's coming back from injury. Yeah. Um, I think Moser is back this week. So that, I think, yeah. That's probably two big players plus Kittle last week. Um, so, yeah, I think the 49ers take this one just, I mean, almost purely just because of Shane Hinn. <laughs> He's the better coach, I think. But Fitz ma- Fitz magic, baby. Next game we got Denver at New England. Um, this is another game that might that could potentially not get played. This one probably I wouldn't be surprised. This one I. Eh, well, it's definitely. only Cam. It was only Cam. Stephon Gilmore tested positive. Oh shit, that's right. So there actually is two confirmed cases right now. And he played Monday against KC. Maybe KC has to forfeit and against the Bills. The Bills are six and oh my god, we're just gonna walk our way into the. <laughs> no, just kidding. But um, Denver at New England. I'm probably gonna go if the game's played, which I. It probably will. Uh, I'm gonna go with Denver or uh, not Denver, uh, New England. Sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go with New England. I just don't think Denver has the caliber, and definitely the coaching makes a huge difference in this game for sure. So, and it's Ed and Foxborough. So, yeah, I think the um, that's when the Bengal or the Broncos have a bye week, uh, week eight. Um, yeah, I think the Patriots win this one. Drew Locke practiced today, I think. Really? That's a good sign, but I highly doubt they'll roll him out against Patriots I first game. I would. Um, especially, especially if he's not 100%. Yeah, and an AC joint sprain can get worse and you're out longer. Um, so, yeah, I think if, if it's played, I think Patriots win. But I think this could be one similar like the Titans last week where it's like it was one guy, then it was three guys, then it was six guys. Mm, I, know. I don't know what's going on with the Titans, but. They had a practice last week. They had a, like a, pri- a private workout. Like which is against the rules, so they they broke protocol or whatever like that. No, so that that's oh, why so people, that's, that's why people why are talking about forfeit. forfeit yeah. Like you have to forfeit because yeah. like they broke the rules. Damn. Well, good news for the Bills. <laughs> um, next game we got Indianapolis at Cleveland. Um, Indianapolis won, right? Yes. Yeah. The Bears. Yep. 
Oh, that's right. Um, I'm going to go actually with Cleveland, though. I'm going to go with Cleveland on this one. I think they're going to ride that momentum from that big win against Dallas. And honestly, are we, are we even saying wins against Dallas are big this year? Because, like, they're one in three. I don't, yeah. like, I don't know. Either way, I think Cleveland's going to ride this momentum and they're going to take another win um, against Indianapolis this week. Yeah, I mean, I like the Colts' defense. I think they have a solid defense. Um, there's, I feel like there's going to be a lot of turnovers in this game. Rivers and Baker are not the greatest. Um, I'm going to roll with the Colts. I think the Browns last week, a lot of their touchdowns, or not, I shouldn't say a lot, but a couple of their touchdowns were like the wide receiver double pass or whatever to OBJ and then the 50-yard end around. Just a lot of broken quarter. coverages, yeah. honestly. Like, and the Colts have a much better defense that I don't think – Frank, it's going to be able to I think be. Frank Reich's a good coach. I yeah. think he's going to make the Browns try to throw the ball and make mm-hmm. Baker make plays. Yep. Um, I think this will be a 20-14 to 14 game or 17-14. to 14. It's going to be pretty low scoring, I think. So, But I'm going to go with the Colts in a, in a close one. All right. Next game we got the Giants at Dallas. I'm actually going with the upset. I'm taking the Giants. I legit think if, if this game this week right here – if the Giants beat Dallas, I there's no hope for Dallas. The Cowboys are gonna win this one. Have no to. way. Have you to. have to. You the say Giants. we said that last week against Cleveland too. Okay. Yeah, and I also think Cleveland's not a bad team. Really, they got some nice pieces, and they have a decent coach. The Giants don't have that. Giants have They're, Devontae Freeman now. Who is their coach? Joe Judge. That's right. Yeah, special team. They got Devontae finish. Freeman is gonna pop off. Eleven for thirty-three last week. Yeah. Against a tough Rams defense. This is the Dallas defense we're talking about. Zeke will get. Dallas has had negative fantasy points every single week. Against yeah. better teams than the Giants. Watch the Giants pop off. They haven't faced Daniel Jones yet. I almost kept him this week just because of Daniel Jones. He's good for one or two turnovers every single Psych. game. Psych. He is. No. Cow- <laughs> Cowboys are 10 point favorites. It's kind of high, I feel like, but I would still take him to cover it. I'm still. I'm taking, think, I'm taking the Giants. I think Cowboys are going to come off playing. And, like, I think McCarthy – or Dak is playing for his money. I said it last week, too. But the Giants are so much worse than the Browns. I know. We just said, what are they, I just like to, I like to see the upset, dude. I like to see the upset. I mean, I took the uh, the Washington. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Redskins, yeah. Washington. Yeah, it's good friends. <laughs> and then, all right, I next game. Know. Next game, we got Minnesota at Seattle. Uh, Minnesota's defense is uh, a dumpster fire right now, so I'm just going to go with Seattle. Yeah. Pretty easy choice. Uh, Russell Wilson continues to shine, and then that's about it. Russell Wilson, that offense are unstoppable right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm really hoping this game gets canceled to COVID because they're the only two running backs, <laughs> Cook and Carson. <laughs> there's no way. There's no cases there's not, for any yeah, of them. not, but I'm hoping it does. Fuck off. If, um, yeah, we. by the way, we are facing in fantasy this week. My team's nasty and his team's trash, so. Um, I, yeah, I think Seattle's going to win this one. I'm surprised it's only a line of seven. One touchdown, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, I like my, Minnesota's defense is decent. Well, you just said they're Their offense. Bad. I mean, offense, offense. Yeah, their offense is fine. So. But, yeah, I don't know. I think the Seahawks will win that one, I think. All right. We're both going to Seattle. And, Mon- oh, that was the Sunday night game. The Monday night game this week is the Chargers at New Orleans. I think New Orleans is going to win it. I doubted New Orleans last week. Um The the, the Lions played well first half. Yeah. They were win- I think they were at, they had the lead at half. And then they just threw it away. So, I had hope in you, Detroit, but it didn't work out for no, them. They were down 28-14 at half. No way. <laughs> they were up 14 oh. nothing. Oh, Saints cool. Four straight. Yeah, that's what but that it was. But that was the first, the first five quarter. minutes. First five minutes, they were up 14 nothing. Oh, my God, really? Touchdown, interception, first play, and then touchdown. Oh, my God. All right, so then never mind. I must have saw the score for, like, a quick <laughs> second. I was like, oh, they're playing well. Psych. Then the Saints will score 21 nothing yeah. in the second well, quarter. All right, I'm going to go to New Orleans. I think the Chargers are still kind of going to struggle without Eckler. He's the he was really like their backbone of that offense, cause and then Herbert doesn't really have like his security blanket, cause usually he could just either hand it off or th- dump it off to Eckler. I don't think Eckler was even getting that many catches. No, he has been. He had eleven catches against Carolina. Yeah. Two weeks ago, what the heck? Yeah, that, that was when Herbert started, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He was literally know. his little dump. He was Justin like, Jackson then might be a play this week in fantasy. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean. Yeah, well, Saints. Yeah, I think Saints will take this one, too. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if... I don't know. I I haven't heard anything about Tyrod lately. 
But you they know, better not start him. Herbert's looked good, but at the same time, they're zero and three with him. Mm. But he played really well against KC. He did play well. And then, I mean, I don't know what happened with Carolina. They should have beat them. Um, I mean, he has played well, but at the same time, um, can't they can't put the, the all difference on with him. Tyrod was that they were running the ball a lot more and controlling the pace of the game. Whereas with Herbert, it's been again, this is not a knock on him. Obviously, it's been a lot of big plays. I mean, they last yeah. week had like a seventy-yard touchdown or something. I mean, I haven't really watched too much, but I know Herbert's looked pretty good. But I wouldn't be surprised at all if if they like if they lose this game and Tyrod's back next week. I wouldn't be surprised at all if they, they go back Tyron, to Tyrod just yeah. for the fact that like I don't, He's one four, I don't know. It's so tough to. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either way, but for this game, I'm going with the Saints. Yeah, Saints are hard to go against. Breeze is still not that great, but yeah, he's going downhill. But he's still, he's Thomas. still, he's still a top tier quarterback. Top, mm, top tier, like average now. Top ten. Would you take him over Garoppolo? Yes. Uh, eh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, I would. Hundred <laughs> percent. Would you take him over Josh Allen? Absolutely not. Josh Allen's top two, three. Not even this year. Yeah, he is. Mahomes, Russ, and Rodgers. Ah, shut up. Allen's four. Top five. <laughs> this Easy. Year, this year's top five. Top five. That's my boy. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Leave a comment below. And also, we change up the lighting a little bit. Um, leave a comment if you think this is better than the first one. And if you don't know what the first one looked like, what are you doing? Go check out the first one. I mean, the leak's over, but it doesn't matter. But also, if you're watching the video and you watched till the end, hit that sub button. We do this every week. Videos go live on Thursdays at 5 p.m. So it's a few hours before the Thursday night game is live. And that way you know we don't just kind of pick after the Thursday night game comes on. So thank you for watching. I got an idea. Yep. If you watch, I'll just go to a game that was pretty that we thought was going to be pretty close. I think, who do you think is going to win? Colts or Browns? Leave it in the comments. The Colts or Browns? Yeah, that was a close one, I think. The Oh, oh between you and me. Oh, yeah, it was, I went it was only Browns. a two-point spread. Okay. I'm just saying that was a close yeah, game. Yeah. So, I mean, All right, Colts or Browns, baby. Throw it in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next week on the Weekly Insider. Have a good night. Peace.